started right now. All right, you guys. So I want to welcome you back. I know it's been a little while since we've had anything on the channel at all, toy reviews or any type of reactions, uh, but we're going to start Agatha all along. Uh, and then shortly after that, I think we may get a little uh, break in between the Skeleton Crew uh, when that comes out on Disney Plus, I think in late December, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we'll be reacting to that uh, series as well, guys. So uh, again, I want to welcome you back, all the familiars. Uh, again, thank you so much uh, for joining me for another reaction. Uh, anyone who's new to the channel, uh, this is what we do. Uh, this channel is a little slow. I don't put out content every day and uh, a lot of my content, uh, well, as you can tell, my content centers around Star Wars uh, and a little bit of Marvel in, in regards to toys uh, and collecting. Uh, we'll do uh, something on that. Uh, that's what this channel is about uh, at the moment. For right now, we're going to get into this Agatha all along. Uh, so obviously, I am familiar with this character a little bit uh, from the previous series with Scarlet Witch. Uh, she was uh, the antagonist uh, in that particular series, and now uh, she's gotten her own series. So we're going to see what it's all about. I actually didn't watch the trailer for this, guys. As you know, uh, if you're uh, familiar with the channel, you know I didn't do a reaction to the trailer. I, I, I did see uh, bits of it on TV well, during commercial spots, um, but I have no clue what's going on. So uh, that's my uh, take on things at the moment. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into this first episode. We're going to have two episodes uh, tonight. Uh, the first episode is going to be Seek Thou the Road, and then the second Circle Sown with Fate slash unlock thy hidden gate. All right. So uh, 41 minutes a piece for these uh, 41 and 43 minutes uh, for your perspective episode. So a uh, little, a pretty decent uh, runtime for both of these particular episodes. Uh, usually Disney keeps it down to 30 minutes, 41 minutes. I'm a little surprised about that. Uh, hopefully they'll uh, fill in a lot of good stuff with that 41 minutes, guys. Let's go ahead and get into this reaction. So this is her, she's looking a little tired, I'll say. And we know from the series with Scarlet Witch um, that the Scarlet Witch kind of put a spell on her, uh, keeping her in character, uh, the character that she was portraying in Westview. Uh, and that is what her fate was at that point. What's that on? What's this? It's from the library book? Westview Branch. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause? Blunt force trauma. Not much of a drop around here. Did she fall? She was crushed. By what? Something big and heavy. Oh, wow. So she didn't die here. She is dead, though, isn't she, Herb? Oh, she really most sincerely dead. Hmm. Never know. <laughs> And you never know. Now, who is she? Why is she feeling a pain? A bottle cap, it looks like. A, bo a bottle cap. But is it or what is it? Or it is? Set the roller. You ready to see? Let's go. She put it in her pocket, whatever it was. It looked like a bottle cap, though. Are they ready to roll her? No, it's not her. What happened to you? You okay, Agnes? Hmm. Let me know when the dental work is coming. So we didn't get to see the face, and there, there's Westview. Agnes of, Wed, of Westview. Agnes of Westview. Thanks a bunch for your help, Dottie. You've been an absolute angel. Dottie. Incidentally. Where were you last night between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m.? I guess I can run with those titles. Oh, can you? <laughs> uh, yes. This book wasn't checked out. It was stolen three years ago. 
Are you, are you more coffee than natural sciences? Dr. GP. Oh, wow. Everything destroyed. Every last copy. Wow. Who is that guy? You know, I should have got the book title. Um, Cause she may be trying to find out what happened to the dark hole. Agnes, you're about to tell me something I'm not gonna like. Soil samples from under the fingernails and toenails of the Jane Doe came back. They don't match the soil she was lying in. That's no surprise. We assume she's been moved. There were traces of a particular microbial sediment only found in Eastern Europe. I'm gonna get to the part I'm not gonna like. Here I am. <laughs> Here I am. Strength in numbers, teamwork makes Eat my ass, ass chief. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. What are you doing here? My job, I'm being control. You can be. Hmm. Is this really how you see yourself? Hmm. Sure. Let's talk about the case. I think I think she's another witch who's trying to help her to help pull her out of uh, out of the spell that um, Wanda put her on, under. Yeah, she's trying to help her. She's trying to show her that she's trying to help break the spell. And she's throwing her out. Just how Wanda threw um, my girl out when she realized who, who she was, that she was from the outside. I forget her name. Uh, Rambo. Monica Rambo. And I think, yeah, these are some of the people who are, are from WandaVision. Ha. Good to see you too, Agnes. Yeah, I, re I definitely remember him from WandaVision. So uh, um, these, some of these people, uh, I'm assuming all of them are, uh, they're still trapped in Westview. Dark, hold. Nikki, Nicholas, Scratch, Nicholas Scratch. Um, damn, uh, that, that, what? Did you know that, that thing that she had, um, Mr. Scratchy or something, pizza. There's a, a car wreck about an hour before the time of death. Where? Eastview. Eastview? Eastview. See, I thought you turned into a pumpkin in that car, Theo. Hey, I travel. I'm worldly. Where have you traveled? Hmm. Okay, so what about the car wreck? Hmm. Do you remember where you hit me? Hmm. No. Are you hiding evidence? No. Uh oh. Who is that? What did you say? Oh, oh. Damn. Crap, crap, crap. Oh. Let go, honey. Ah. <laughs> this has got to be like the, one of the slowest foot chases I've ever seen. Whoa. Oh, she got him. Oh, no, she didn't. It's a guy. Oh. She got him, uh, the other girl, the FBI agent. Hey, you okay? You okay? Oh, oh no. Oh! Get back in your vehicle! You a liar? Good. Now you're gonna have to deal with me. Because I'm arresting you now, and I want you real alert for that. All right, come on. But you were fresh out of Bubba. 
Mm. Where were you last night between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m.? Asleep in bed. Asleep in bed. Total loser? Or totally lying? Let's find out! What do you know about that? Nothing! Nothing! Tell me who she is! I don't know! Tell me what happened to her! What are you talking about? These are just flowers! Oh, wow. What? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, now what's going on? I, I think they're trying to bring her out of it. Trippy, but cool. I am intrigued. Uh oh. Red hair, scarlet, scarlet. And she has red hair. Oh, and she, her toe tag is a uh, October thirteenth. Wanda Maximoff. W. Maximoff. Case closed then? That witch is gone. And all the copies of the Dark Hold with her. Leaving you trapped in her distorted spell. Yeah. But you don't have to stay there, do you? Ooh. 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 Is it hot? You? Yes, claw your way out. Ah, uh, I'm hot. Is it hot? <sighs> hot. <laughs> what? Oh. She's going through all her characters that she was was in WandaVision. Oh wow. Look at her hair. Uh, she's in black and white. There are two Jane Doe's in this case. And you know her name. So what's yours? Agatha Harkness. What the hell? How long have I been here? Uh, what? How long have I been living in this cesspool of a town? About three years. Wow. Three years? Wow. What? Three years. Try not to say her name. Ugh. Because you're cowards. Because you're sheep. What have I been doing all this time? Librarian. Chief of police. <laughs> oh, Julie. <laughs> this is where hope goes to die. You know, um. Mm -mm. Okay, besides the fact that you're, um. You seem pretty elusive for a change. Uh, aggressive even. Power. Mr. Scratchy. Every little bit of power I had left me with 
household of five days. <laughs> Sounds like somebody who's tied up. Oh. Well, that arrest was maybe more of a kidnapping. But if you're real and not a figment of my imprisoned mind, then that really. Whoa. Uh oh. Darkhold, you hid behind all that dark magic, but then you lost it, and now. Mm. Ah. Ah. Ooh. You're vulnerable. Only physically. Damn. Damn. Ah. Do you remember pain? It got it tickles. Oh. Woo. Coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> you can't kill me. You can't kill me. It's not allowed. Mm. She said it's not allowed. Damn. Interesting. Get my purple back and then come find me. I am not the only one that wants to see you dead. Ooh. Specifically. Mm. The worst of them. The Salem Seven. I expect you'll see them at sundown. Hmm. The Salem Seven. The melody Center warms the heart. You don't have a heart. Yes, I do. It's black. Hmm. And it beats for you. Healed her hand. Yeah, Who's the kid? All right. All right. Shoes, Jack Schuler, which. So. Oh, cool. Marvel Comics. Kevin Foggy. Louis D. Espedito. That's cool. I, that's cool. I like the end, end credits. It's awesome. So um, I absolutely enjoyed uh, that first episode, guys. I thought it was excellent. Uh, I enjoyed it immensely. And I'm um, looking forward to this next episode. Um, obviously, uh, we have Agatha and she is still caught up in the spell that Wanda put her under. Uh, at first, she saw herself as a detective trying to figure out what happened to the dark hole. And she had this mysterious uh, case come up uh, that only she could solve. And uh, they pulled her in and she uh, witnessed, looked at the body, looked at the face, uh, didn't know who she was looking at. I think it was the body obviously was Wanda Maximoff. Um, that we find out later when we go to the morgue, when she goes and sees the body in the morgue. Uh, but again, um, she's trying to figure out who's this uh, female, how did she die, and, and this mysterious case of books that were burned, uh, which is a reference to the dark hole. Uh, so um, she's trying to figure out this case, but this is all uh, something going on in her head, just like Wanda, uh, when she uh, got herself caught. And uh, here, uh, we see something similar with Agatha, uh, and what she's going through, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, and then we have these series of 
uh, characters that are brought in, the FBI agent, this kid. Uh, I still don't understand how the kid figure, uh, fits in, um, but uh, it seems as though they were trying to break her from uh, the spell that she was under. And uh, they were, uh, as we saw, successful in doing it. When she goes to the morgue, she figures out uh, who the body is, and then she figures out what her name is. Once she figures out who her name is, uh, she goes through uh, this series of, of all the characters that she played in WandaVision, uh, stripping those characters away uh, till she is back to herself. Uh, she went out naked in the neighborhood, uh, caused a scene with the neighbors, and then we figure out that uh, a lot of the characters that uh, she saw in her dream as a detective uh, were actually her neighbor's people uh, in Westview. And then we also find out that she's been under this spell or in Westview for over three years. And we also get introduced to this character, uh, this other witch that is after her. After her. Um, obviously, she wants to hurt her. Uh, we saw the battle that they had uh, at the inn in the house uh, where she just about killed it's her. It's forbidden for her, uh, the killer. Uh, and she acknowledges that it is forbidden. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is, but um, and then she uh, convinces uh, this other witch to uh, come see her when she's back at full strength, as opposed to not having her power. As we saw in WandaVision, uh, Wanda stripped her of all of her power, basically took all of her power, and she's uh, looking to get her power back. So I think that's what her next journey is going to be uh, in this next episode. Uh, or the next arc of this episode going uh, forward. Uh, I'm kind of glad that we didn't uh, stick with the detective theme throughout uh, this particular uh, series. I, I didn't know if it was something that was going to bleed into the next episode. It, it, it was really good. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, but since we already knew that she was under this spell and and we can kind of figure out what it was that she was doing, looking at uh, trying to find out why she was there and uh, these little clues like uh, the body and uh, the burned books uh, obviously were leading her to Wanda Maximoff and the Darkhold. Uh, and uh, now we're finally to the point where she can acknowledge that, okay, I've, I've been under the spell for over three years um, and, and now she can make her next move. So uh, I thought that was really good that they uh, kind of started us off uh, in that manner and then uh, broke her uh, of the spell. And now her next journey is to get her powers back. And uh, obviously she's gonna have to defend herself, uh, not only against this other witch, and, and please forgive me because I uh, didn't quite catch the uh, other witch's name that is after her. Um, but uh, not only is she gonna have to defend herself against her, uh, but it looks like there's gonna be some other witches that she's gonna have to uh, deal with as well. Uh, and then as far as the kid, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not quite sure how he fits into the story. I'm assuming he's a witch as well. Um, he started spouting off a spell. Uh, the spell I think uh, that he was doing was allowing her to see uh, what was uh, actually in the room. She thought she was in a uh, booking room uh, in a uh, police station. Uh, but uh, there was obviously a picture there uh, and some uh, other items that he pointed out to her where they kind of help her uh, break the spell. So uh, obviously he was there to, to help uh, her break that spell, but uh, we haven't fully uh, understood why uh, he was doing that for her uh, and why he appeared in her uh, dream as a detective. But uh, I, I really did enjoy that first episode. I thought it was really good. It was I thought it was a good reintroduction to the character. Uh, and, and then of course, if you did watch WandaVision, you totally understood what was going on. Um, and uh, I, I'm glad it kind of uh, started off where it let, where WandaVision left off, uh, but it didn't linger too long on uh, the fact that she was caught up in the spell. Uh, she kind of figured it out fairly quickly towards the end of the episode. And now, uh, as I mentioned, she's on her next journey. So uh, I thought it was a good start to this series. With a score of 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I really did enjoy that episode. Uh, I thought again, again, I thought it was a good uh, okay. size. But let me know what your thoughts are in regards to this episode. Uh, did you watch WandaVision and were you able to follow along exactly what was going on uh, in this series? And if uh, you didn't watch WandaVision and you're coming in fresh uh, on this particular series, uh, what were your thoughts? Uh, were you able to follow along or... Um, were you needing a little help to kind of figure out exactly uh, what was happening? Let me know, and guys, put those comments down below, guys. And I, again, I want to thank you guys so much for uh, checking this out. And of course, we will do this again uh, later on uh, this evening uh, if I have that video up as I planned, episode two. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be doing this every week until this um, 
series. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get a second season or not. Probably not. Um, but uh, I believe this is going to run all the way through to uh, the night of Halloween. So we'll see uh, how that goes, guys. So I'm looking forward to this series. I think it's off to a great start. Looking forward to the second episode, guys. So uh, leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next reaction. Uh, it was Agatha all along.